Hey guys, again a live session and today we have a guest again. Uh, how are you guys? So till our guest is here, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Hi guys, it's been a week, I think, for me to do, yeah, I haven't done a live session, so a long time no see, we can say. And we have great uh, lives with David, doing with Rakitic and uh, yeah, and uh, good ones will come. So we will see which guest. That's a good good question. So you can uh, you can try to guess, guys. He's from Brazil. He was born in Belgium, and he plays for Manchester United. So I think that's enough clue. So I will give you a few minutes, like a few seconds, actually. And okay, he's here already. He already made himself clear. Okay. Let's let's see. Let's see if we can join. How are, are you? you? Are you good? I'm good, you? Good, man. Good, thanks. So you didn't even let people guess who you are, bro. You were like, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's dive straight into it. How is it going for you, the self-isolation, the quarantine? How is life over there? Let us know, bro. It's, you know, it's quite difficult. Uh, we're staying at home. Um, we have workout programs from the club. We're, mm -hmm. you know, working out and and just waiting you know till the virus is gone and waiting till the people say we can train back and play yeah that's yeah exactly but uh you said it's like quite hard quite difficult how do you feel your days right now like what do you do besides working out of course um i play a lot of playstation <laughs> <laughs> And um, yeah, watch movies, uh, yeah. be with my with my wife and daughter, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill. Yeah, yeah but uh, which games do you play on PlayStation? I play FIFA and I play Fortnite. Okay, so okay, you play FIFA one day, bro. We're gonna talk and we're gonna play against each other. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's a promise, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, and yeah, so I have some questions that I'm reading for you. That do you have any new hobbies that you discovered in this self-isolation time? Yeah, I start to cook. It's crazy, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I tried to cook yesterday, and uh, to be fair, it didn't go as planned. It was not so good, but you know, I have to improve. <laughs> yeah, but you like it, so that's that's the most important thing, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. What did you cook? Um, I cooked some rice with oh, sure. uh, with beef, and and then I did a little dessert like fried banana. Whoa, that's that's impressive, bro. I'm yeah. impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, you miss football, obviously. But besides that, what do you miss? Because we're, like, I'm also home all day, and I miss a lot of things, even going out and having a good meal in a good restaurant. Like, what, what do you miss? I miss, like, you know, with the players, you know, my friends, being with them, you know, the, the talk, you know, joking around. That's what yeah. I miss, you know, going out with them. Mm -hmm. and, and now, you know, we're at home all the time, speaking on FaceTime and... You know, that's the most thing I miss being with the, my friends. Mm -hmm. But you never go out, like, not even for a walk or something. You just home all day. Yeah, I go out for a walk um, and maybe go out, you know, I go out for running and stuff like that. But yeah, try to stay as much home as possible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so I have some uh, funny questions for you. Uh, okay, with which teammate would you like to be in quarantine if you could choose? 
It could be uh, anybody from Manchester United, Valencia, whatever. Um, I would choose with Paul, with Pogba. Pogba, yeah. you guys yeah. are good. Yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine, and we get along quite well. Yeah, I heard yeah. that he speaks Portuguese. Is that true? Yeah, he speaks all the languages, so uh, he understands <laughs> everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, he speaks a lot of languages. Okay, so the other question is, which teammate could you never be in a quarantine with? Never. Uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard one, huh? <laughs> uh, ooh, that's difficult. That's difficult. Uh, I I play yeah, that I friend. that I have played with. Yeah, I mean your teammates right now or before doesn't matter. Mm, I think I could never be with. Oh, that's difficult because I'm a I'm a good I'm like I'm a friendly guy with everybody. So if I pick someone now, I know they will be angry with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a joke, man. No, I I would choose um, Victor. Who? Victor Lindelof. Oh, Lindelof, never. Yeah. Yeah, he's my friend, so I, I don't want to be with him. I think we'll get a fight or something. <laughs> ah, okay, that's right. That's right. That's the only reason, nothing more. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, phew, I don't know. Phew, to be fair, he's my friend. I, I don't know, man. It's difficult. I can get on with everybody. Yeah. Maybe maybe a defender. I don't I don't stay with Eric. I'm scared he's, he's going to get angry and tackle me maybe in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, if he's angry, I don't want to be around him as well. <laughs> no, no. He's a beast. Yeah. Okay, so uh, your favorite football memory? My favorite football memory? As a child or playing as a player, doesn't matter. Um, I think it was when I was first called up for the national team of Brazil. Uh, you know, it was my best memory. You know, everything I've dreamed of, it's like it happened there. And that's, that's the best memory. Yeah. But how does it happen like for you guys? Do you hear it on television usually or do you receive a, a message or something? Like I received before already like a call from the, the coach and he mm -hmm. said like, Andreas, uh, how are you? How are you feeling? I said, no, I'm good, you know. And he said, well, I know it's the first time, uh, but we would like to call you up and, and see how it goes and everything. So I was like, well, of course, I'm ready, you know, and. So when the TV news came on, my family didn't know, but I already knew it. So it, I, it was like a surprise, but it was a very good feeling. Yeah, were you with your family then? Yeah, I was with my mom and my dad. Uh, so you were like watching, hi guys, see, see now, yeah. <laughs> who's going to be called up? <laughs> yeah, my dad was nervous. He was like, oh, maybe you're in this time, you played well. And I was like, no, don't relax, man. It's okay if I'm not there, but I know I was it. <laughs> That's a good story. That's a good yeah. story. Yeah. Okay. So if you could, if you could play one more game in your career, which one would you choose? Um, the game that we played against PSG last year. Oh, that, we, that one. Yeah. 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 No way. You mean the away game, right? Not the home. Yeah. Game. No, no, not the home game. No way game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was like. Yeah, how did you feel? Like that because everybody thought after the first game that it was finished. Me as well, actually. And how, when did you start to believe that it could happen? Did you go? Did you guys? Yeah, when you were going there, were you feeling it already, or did you it's, start to feel it in the game? It was strange. It was like when we went there, we were gonna play with the, all the young players because there were injuries, and mm -hmm. so we were like already. It's gonna be very difficult. It's gonna be nearly impossible. But we have to believe. You know, where the young players were were trying to get. Into the team, we have to show we can do it we, if we want to play for Manchester. So it was like before the game, we listened to the manager, like every detail, what he said. We have to do defend like that. And in the first minutes, if we score a goal, we have to keep calm because they're a good team. So everything he said, like it came true in the pitch. It was strange. We go in the tunnel, I was like a bit nervous. But then the game starts, and everything what the manager say, he say we score in the beginning, Lukaku score. We looked to the bench and we're like, it's happening. No way. <laughs> and after, it was like a magical feeling. I never felt something in the pitch. And, and after that, when the penalty, when Rashi finished it in the, in the dressing room, you know, it was crazy. I was like uh, hugging, you know, 
Sir Alex and 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 the manager and and all the players. It was crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah, it should yeah. be. A, but the thing is, like, uh, actually, like, I wonder, like, when you were a kid, would you dream of this kind of? Yeah, could could you imagine that you could play for Manchester United in the Champions League? Or like, how does it feel to be there with the Champions League anthem when it plays? You know, how does it feel, bro? It's it's like a dream come true. To be fair, like I used to play for PSG when I was young and. Um, you know, I was always imagining me and playing PSV and it was already a big, big dream and I was like, wow. And now, sometimes I look back, like for example, especially now in the quarantine and I look back and I'm like, wow, I'm playing at Manchester United and what I did and it's like, it's a dream come true. Yeah, okay. And of course, when you were growing up, you had an idol, I think. Everybody yeah. has some. Uh, who was yours? My idol always was Kaká. Always. Kaká. Yeah, I looked up to him when when he was in AC Milan. Yeah. Uh, always watched his games, and I wanted to copy him and and try to be like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Kaka was like especially his finesse shots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah always he did he like. Also, he also, man. I'm a mature age, so I was also like I was scoring. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so do you guys do you guys talk to each other right now, like nowadays? I I spoke to him once um, after a game he played here against Manchester. And but after that, no, I, I never really got the chance to to meet him and and speak to him. No, maybe maybe we will all meet together one day and have. Yeah, some maybe. Good yeah. <laughs> okay, so your best five aside players that you played with. That I played with. Um, number one, Neymar. Mm -hmm. Pogba. Yeah. Uh, Thiago Silva. Okay. Uh, um, Rooney, okay, and um, one more, one more. Um, let me think. Um, oh, it's difficult. There is a lot of good players, but I would say yeah. Van Persie. Van Persie. Yeah. 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 It was. He's. He's a legend. Yeah. Yeah. He's finishing in training. It was just amazing. Praat je Nederlands? Ja, yeah, Nederlands, ja. Yeah. Ja, yeah, ik ook, beetje. Beetje, nog steeds, beetje. Nog steeds aan het leren, man. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Oké, okay. next one. Funniest dressing room story you can tell us. Um, funny story that happened lately. Um, you know, I like to joke a lot in the dressing room and, and do a lot of jokes with the players. Yeah. Um... So, poor. I have a few, a few stories. Uh, once we did, we trashed the room of a player of Daniel James. Okay. We, we arrived in the, um, in the game for Europa League, and uh, he got to food. He went for food, and some players went to his room and, you know, absolutely trashed his room, put it upside down and everything. And when he saw it, when he came back. You know, he was he was like shocked. You know, he was like, "What happened?" You know, to my room, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. So you you make you make jokes. Like, would you? Yeah, I have a question for you. Like, funniest teammate, but you're a funny guy, so maybe you would choose yourself. No, I think funny. You know, we have a few in the dressing room. Like Eric is funny, yeah. funny guy. Yeah. He dances a lot, and Jesse Jesse is so, very funny. Jesse yeah. like make jokes every time. Yeah, so. We yeah. have a funny team, yeah. Yeah, but Eric Bailey, do you remember his video with uh, Ibrahimovic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he kicked him, but he ran away yeah. direct. You have to run away or Zlatan will get you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, bro, last but not the least, do you have any message for our followers? For your fans uh, keep, as well. Keep following for retreat sick you. page, and stay home, stay safe, and together we're going to be back playing soon. Yeah, hopefully, man. Thank you. It was th thanks for joining. It was a pleasure, and no you problem. stay safe as well, eh? Yeah, no problem. See you, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. See ya.